Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Desiree, here, and in today's video, we're going to review the Bloom Daily Planners Chronic Illness Planner. This is a new for 2025 that'll be launching on September 9th, and I am a Bloom Master, so you can use my discount, Desiree 10, at checkout for a savings. But this planner deserved its own video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Chronic Illness Planner. Or it's a new cover, Bloom Wildly design here. I don't have the old one, so I couldn't tell you for sure if there's any changes. From what I understand, it's the same, it's just a new cover. So this planner, guys, I love it. I am gonna give this to my mother. Um, both her and I suffer from chronic illnesses. She's got rheumatoid arthritis, I have psoriatic arthritis, and the struggle is real, y'all. So this is super helpful. Um, I told her I'd give it to her, but I wanna keep it, and I'll let her choose what cover she wants. <laughs> At this point, I'll buy her one. But chronic illness planner, a little quote here, year, phone, email, word of the year. Another welcome page here. And then here you have your being your own advocate. And I really love this because it's hard. It's hard dealing with our own issues. And I can speak to that just because you only know your own body, right? And it's hard to explain sometimes to so many people. So you have to be your own advocate. So what I love is that they're really go in depth in this planner here. So get familiar with your insurance, review all medical bills and errors, recognize the value of your voice, give feedback, good or bad, know when a second opinion is appropriate and kind of gives you more details on that. Prepping for appointments, kind of gives you some checklists to kind of get ready for it. Finding a reliable info online. This is another area that is super helpful. You know, general tips, where to start, researching general health, and they have like websites on here, guys. Websites, which is amazing. Here's some helpful resources, your support system, support groups, positive thoughts, mantras, things like that. A letter to yourself. Things not to do. So what's okay to be left undone, kind of things like that. Again, kind of similar. Year of more and less. You even have a mood tracker here. Your joy list, more affirmations, you feel best when. You even have another little kind of tracker here. So I am grateful for you have kind of your whole year, January, February, March. So every year you can kind of come back and write down what you were grateful for for that month, pretty much. Top five goals for the year, your health visions, your medical summary, which is very important. Um, at this point, emergency contact, health insurance information. We always carry that stuff with us right already, but it's always nice to kind of have it written down in case you lose anything. So any kind of surgeries, diagnosis, illness, you can write the dates of notes, your medication overview. So current medication, vitamins, reason taken, dosage, and then notes. And we have a medical expense tracker as well. Food sensitivity tracker. Feels good. Okay, moderation. Foods to avoid. I learned this quickly when I got my arthritis at this point. Inflammation is a big thing for me. And I know at this point now what I need to eat, what I can't, what I can be in moderation and I'll know it because I'll feel it in my hips. I'll feel it in my arms. I'll get a rash. Like, in fact, I'm flaring up right now. TMI, but I'm flaring up right now and it's bad. And I know because I might have eaten something or I did this or that, you know, so it helps out to have that. Family medical history. So family members, because everyone asks, right? Is it in your family kind of thing? Any kind of lab test results, medical contacts. That's always important too. And you have a few of those. Then you have your appointment log. This for me is like everything for my mother, even for me too, because you forget, right? So your date, time, specialist, reason for visit, questions and concerns, you can already have it written down, take this with you, what the doctor says, and then any appointment notes. So having this available, jotting down keywords, whatever you need to do, because you're always going to forget or you're going to word something wrong, right? So it's always nice to have that. And you have quite a few appointment logs. Then you have your yearly medical overview, January through December. And then a few line pages before you get into kind of that January. So last year in review, how you felt overall, sleep, water intake, that triggers, wins, notes and reflections, and then planning for January. So this month you'll try, you will not do, hard days you'll remember, and any kind of wellness goals you have. Currently feeling, reading, all that. Refill medications, doctor's appointments, kind of a monthly checklist. Then you have your January. Now it's undated, so you can start whenever you're ready. So undated at this point, the weeklies, guys, is everything. So you have two weeks right here, one week, a second week. 
So it's Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And let me kind of zoom in a bit here because guys, it's like everything. So healthy habits and self-care. You can write it down Monday through Sunday tracker. Symptom tracker, which for me, I was always tracking my symptoms separately because it's either my hands flaring or it's my whole arm or it's my back or my hips or my skin, right? It's always something. So I love that. Um, everyday victories, then notes and journaling. But on each day, you have your hours slept, how you're feeling, zero to 10. You have two little pills, kind of a reminder there, and then a water tracker. And then a whole space for whatever you need to write in there for that day. And so the whole week is on one page. So, and again, undated. So you would write your date here to help you keep track. But that's all you need, right? You don't need a whole weekly spread. You just need it on one page. You have a line notes before it goes into your January in review. So how did it change from the beginning of the month, right? And then planning for February. And then it starts all over. So here's February. Here are your weeks. And then again, following up on February in review and then going into March. So I really love this planner. I think it's great for those who do suffer with chronic illnesses, kind of having everything in one little area, right? Um, at the back of the planner here, you do have a line page and then your year overall in review. You even have a little coloring page here, one step at a time. It's really cute. It even comes with stickers, guys. So you have, I like this, I love the fire. For me, that's like flaring, right? Um, so trigger, you got your refill, your RX, self-care, and then a whole bunch of like quotes, stronger than the storm, chronic and ironic, iconic, I'm sorry, <laughs> embrace your pace, take it easy. So basically telling you you're okay. It's okay to chill, take a step back, take care of you kind of thing, right? So I really love it. You even have a little appointment up here too. And then you do have a folder, which is nice because you can always carry any paperwork or receipts with you when not. And then that is the end of the medical planner. So chronically resilient. I say medical, but it's at this point, chronic illness planner is what they're calling it. But I love it. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this chronic illness planner. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I think it's pretty amazing. The fact that it's undated, you can start it at any time. So even though... This is launching January for September 9th for 2025 launch. It's undated, so it really doesn't matter. You can start it, get one started in September, October, whenever you're ready, and just kind of back plan that way. Now, there is one in the shop now already. It's just a different design. So all the differences here is a new cover, okay? So ambassador, so you can use Desiree 10 to get a discount as well. Be sure to check out my review on some of the other 2025 items that are going to be released on September 9th. I'll link it at the end of this video and in the cards as well. But let me know again down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Like I said, they go on sale September 9th, bloomdailyplanners.com. You can use Desiree 10 at checkout for a discount as well. But be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.